Hey everybody, I'm gonna make a bit of a strange video here. We're in the driveway resealed, so we have a random gaggle of vehicles over there. And I don't want to roll through these little patchy tar pits, and you can you can move this car with two fingers quite easily, as you can see. So I think I'm just gonna pull it a little bit, just to make sure I'm not gonna roll through that, which I'm not. So it comes out pretty. I don't think I'm gonna hit anything else going through there. I'm gonna go in the turnaround spot and go around and come like that. So I think I'm just going to get in the car now. Very light. <laughs> what an advantage to a light car. Starter out. This is a cold start. Not like winter cold, but you know, it hasn't been running today. And we're going forward a little bit. <laughs> Do we think the Lincoln lives here? <laughs> yeah. Everyone I drive by. Alright, let's not go through any of these tar patches and just sneak over here. Off-roading in the Beetle. This is a perfect off-road car as you can see. Very excellent. <laughs> There we go. Let's put it over here. Nice shiny fusion. I love the paint on that car. It's just beautiful. I wish you could get the S3 in a color like that, but you can't. You can only get... Whoops, come on, Beetle. Down over back there. You only get in Misano Red, which is a very bright, bright red. Mercury Milan and not hitting a tree. I'm sleeping here, why not? Okay. I guess I'll set this up. Kind of hurt. I should have done that first, but oh well. Alright, so here's our goofy assortment of cars. We have a Beetle, a couple of twins, kind of. A Lincoln Town car from 1988, and my grandparents' 2002 Itasca Sonova. Why don't we poke around that since we never have before? This is a 27-foot Class A motorhome, powered by an 8.1 liter. Yeah, 8.1 liter. You heard me. GM Vortec V8. So, there you go, Vortec. Come on, focus. 8100. Um, normally this lives next to their house, but they're getting either one or two cords of wood delivered, so it's going to live up here all winter. And uh, this is a power retractable step, but it's in the off position right now. I'll leave the door open for some light. Just a quick little tour for the hell of it. <laughs> Welcome to the early 2000s. Oh, so you see, it's pretty nice. Fridge, this is a power slide out here. It starts, right, you see the pitcher's hiding there, that's how you can tell the whole thing slides out from this piece of trim here and back. There's a little kitchen, little fridge, little pantry, big bed. Here's the restroom thing. Shower on this side. It's a manageable size class A. It's not one of those big huge 40 something footers. There's no leather in this vehicle at all, which kind of sucks since considering the MSRP was about 70,000 in 2002. My grandparents did buy this thing new. It was built in June 2001. Here's a little plate for anybody who wants to pause it and check it out. Very exciting. Uh, here's your clear indication this is a GM based vehicle just by the instrument cluster because it looks like something out of a Tahoe. Now, or Silverado or anything really. There's a little key. It's got 28,000 miles on it. This thing basically only goes back and forth to Florida, or it used to, for most of its life. And 
Now my grandparents don't take it down there because it's quite cumbersome to drive all the way to Florida. So they go back and forth in New York once in a while. Uh, door is open. You can hear our evil neighbors and their giant 12 or 10 pack of dogs, which will always wake my mother up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So screw you people. Um, I've, I've yelled at them in previous videos. But anyway, enough about them. Let's just give it a little start. You can see this thing does have anti-lock brakes over the corner there. And again, GM loves bongs, so it bongs you for a while. Idle's pretty smooth. You can really hear that power steering pump, jeez. <laughs> I've never driven this thing on the road, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, I'm sure it would be <laughs> quite the behemoth. I'll give it a quick little rev though, I guess, won't hurt it. God, this shakes the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a big engine. <laughs> yeah, it's a beast. So anyway, that's my little random assortment of vehicles video. Just figured I'd show you all of them while they're all gaggled all together, or grouped all together, whatever you want to call it. I guess it would be a gaggle if they were geese, but... Well, I guess they do technically all honk, because they have horns. Uh, yeah, I'm on one of my Eric rants. I never remember which key it is, because they look the frickin' same. Ah, that one. And Lockerood. Alrighty, there's two locks, but I can just do the main one. This is courtesy of Saltwater in Florida. This happens almost immediately down in Key West. A bunch of storage compartments on the side here. Well, there's all the bug balls all together, except for the Jetta because mom's at work. Anyway, I hope you guys like my random video. I kind of like to do random off the wall videos like this once in a while. Just look at kind of random everyday life stuff. Cheese is not out here because it's late and he doesn't like to come back inside. And other people try to eat cheese at night. So we don't keep him out at night. But anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.